Hey guys, welcome back to another video and another episode of Five Things That We Learned after Manchester City's five star masterclass last night against FC Copenhagen in the Champions League. It was good fun. It was really good fun. I really enjoyed that last night. I'm really enjoying Man City in general at the moment. It's just so much fun to be a City fan, and I'll get on to all the reasons why very, very shortly. Right after I've said, it's also fun to use one football. Go and download one football right now by clicking that link in the description below and getting the best football app on the market, but absolutely none. If you want to somehow manage to keep up with all the Erling Haaland and Saint stats, download one football. If you want to look at how Jack Grealish is definitely improving for, uh, his game at the moment, download one football. <laughs> Nicholas shouting in the background, download, just download one football. It's the best football app on the market. I've been using it for over six years. It costs you absolutely nothing. It helps support my channel. It's brilliant. It's wonderful. Do it right now. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly still. I'm a little bit under weather. I am getting better compared to last night, but I am um, still a little bit, you know, it's just a cold. Everything's changed over the past few years. If you get a cold these days, you're, you're devastated. I've got COVID. I've done about five tests and I'm, I haven't. I'm not. I haven't got COVID. It's just my head's gone now these days. It's changed. Anyway, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, I'm all right because of Super Jack Grealish. That is where I'm going to start today. Uh, Jack Grealish last night was absolutely excellent. Do you know what? One thing I learned about Jack Grealish is that he thinks too much. For a guy that everyone <laughs> jokes that doesn't think enough, he actually really does. And I think it was very evident when you listen to his quotes after the game, when he talks an awful lot about the narrative around him, about goals and assists. Jack, if you're somehow watching this, mate, you are a lovely individual and you need to stop paying attention to social media, Twitter, pundits, because they talk nonsense, including myself probably quite often as well. Do not pay attention to the narratives. Do not worry about it. Just play your football and everything else will fall into place. You can tell he thinks far too much about what people think about him and when he should be playing and you can tell he's aware that he should be good in his second season and that he should have adapted he needs just to chill out and not worry about it it's a mild imposter syndrome thing I reckon and it happens to loads of people but Jack is there on merit and last night he showed you exactly why he's a Manchester City player and he should take that and run with it quite literally like he runs with a ball not worry about anything else because Jack Grealish last night and recently has shown just how good he is and that he belongs at this level I know it was only FC Copenhagen but it was only Man United the other day and only Wolves the other day and he's been excellent recently because Jack Grealish is a fantastic player now I don't know what it is or what's changed most likely nothing has changed. He's just finally maybe just settled a little bit and not worried about the haters or the perception or whatever. Things tend to be relatively innocuous, but the end product is all that matters. And Jack Grealish right now, like... I love the confidence of his game last night. I love him demanding the ball. I love him getting the ball in transition and running from deep and running at people and even drifting over to the right at some point. I don't know if that's what Pep wants from him, but you can't deny the impact he had on his game. And one thing I love about Jack Grealish that Guardiola definitely does is he just doesn't lose the ball, man. For a creative player, his intricate footwork and the way he dribbles out of tight spaces down the touchline and helps rotate and maintain possession, it's absolutely everything. And if he starts to add all those dribbles that he's getting to it, and the goals will come, Jack. Don't worry if they don't. Just keep doing your thing. David Silva wasn't a great goal scorer, and he didn't get as many near his assists as, say, KDB, but he still was absolutely loved for the pass before the assist often. That is all that matters to me. Jack Grealish last night, absolutely brilliant. And his interview is an absolute must-watch as well. Go watch him talk about Erling Haaland and their goalkeeper and everything else. Lovely, wholesome, charming stuff. Super Jack Grealish. Uh, he's one of ours and I absolutely love it. And of course, we've got to talk about the next guy. I've just put he's too good. He is too good. To the point where I almost feel a little bit embarrassed for everyone else who has to face Erling Haaland. Jack Grealish said it in his interview. He's got to the point, which is exactly what I tweeted as well, and probably how you all feel at home, probably feel exactly the same. He's got to the point where Jack Grealish said he just laughs now when he scores a goal. I'm exactly the same. I'm almost certain you are. I sit there and just burst out laughing when City score because inevitably it's that Nordic meat shield, that massive Viking of a player who's put it in the back of the net again. Their goalkeeper apparently said to Jack Grealish that he's different. He's not human. And Jack was like, yeah, I know you're telling me about it, pal. It's crazy just how much of an impact he's making on the game already. Um, but Erling Haaland is cut differently. And you can see Guardiola's reaction as well. I mean, I'm not going to analyse his performance, just analyse the, the momentum and the hype around him. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in a Manchester City shirt. Look, uh, we had world-class players in Aguero, Silva, Yaya, whatever, KDB. 
this is different, man. This is a superstar. This is get yourself down to the Etihad to see him before he leaves the country level gun. Done it. Hopefully he'll stay for a long time, but people want to see Erling Haaland in person. He's got that superstar aura uh, that, that City players simply just haven't had before. He's got the streets, basically, as the kids would say. He really does, man. Like Kids around the country, and young football fans and whatever, they are flocking to see this guy. And people, I wasn't there last night, but people were saying it felt different last night. My dad's just doing and I chatted to him earlier on. And he said there was a lot of new faces there at the ground. And I'm almost certain, one, it's the cheaper tickets. And two, it's because of the Erling Carling factor. People want to see this superstar. And look at Guardiola's reaction. Pep Guardiola knows a thing or two about a superstar. He's trained possibly some of the greatest footballers of all time. Definitely the greatest footballer of all time. And many just propping up that list. And look at his reaction. The whole... If you get that reaction from Guardiola, <laughs> you know you're on a summit special. And we are with Cole Palmer as well. I've just put Palmer season because I think Cole Palmer is ready to explode. I love that cameo last night. On at 45 minutes. Uh, uh, massive praise as well from the Copenhagen manager. He said, I wasn't uh, excited about Harlan going off because they bring on another great player in Cole Palmer. Lovely praise from Nystrup for Cole Palmer. But he was so good. Finally on the right hand side. Recently he's been kind of at left wing cameos which isn't ever his role. And this is why I defended him saying do not judge him on the left because he's a right sided player and look how confident he was man Cole Palmer right now is getting uh, he's getting the Phil Foden of about the 18-19 season treatment where he's getting loads of game time. He's going to be definitely involved with the first team squad and he shows that he belongs, man. The silkiness in his game, the way he, he draws defenders in and cuts back and chops one way and accelerates past them. He's always looking to score, always looking to create and his close control and his creativity and his confidence to demand the ball at the highest level of, European, of, of, of football, the Champions League. It's wonderful stuff. Cole Palmer absolutely belongs in this squad uh, and it really is in my opinion potentially Cole Palmer season as it could be for our two uh, newest additions to our fullbacks man. I've put Gomez, Gomez stroke Rico time. I could have put Joshua Wilson Esbrand there but I, I wanted to talk about these two because in light of Kyle Walker's injury which is probably going to see him out until around the World Cup so for the next month or two um, we've got a big chance for Sergio Gomez and Rico Lewis. Two Manchester City fans for what it's worth. Sergio Gomez last night I thought had a really good shift at left back. I really like what he brings in general to Manchester City. He has a very unique skill set uh, in that City side. He reminds me a little bit of Angelino but uh, more Lamazio, more Guardiola, but needed, if that makes sense. Because when Angelino was here, we didn't really have the... the There's no point whipping the crosses in because we either had a small guy up front or it just didn't work at all. And like... Now we've got Erling Haaland. Uh, having a guy who can cross from the left-hand side uh, is very, very useful. And we've seen the quality of his left foot already. A couple of long-range strikes that cause an absolute ton of trouble. Uh, led to a goal, of course. One a deflected own goal and one that led to a, a goal for Erling Haaland. And then that, that thunderous strike for the last kick of the game from the corner. He has got a sweet left foot, Sergio Gomez. And he's clearly getting the Zinchenko treatment as well from Guardiola where he shows that he can play in midfield. And Guardiola must love that. He's put him as a defensive infielder a couple of times now yeah he's got a lot to learn there still <clears throat> but it's a massive seal of approval if Guardiola trusts you to do that role and I think his versatility and the fact that he can play as a, an attacker as well as a number 10 a right winger and now obviously in midfield and a left back Guardiola's going to really love that with a long uh, very heavy very demanding physical season Gomez looks a baller as does Rico at the on right back. You know, Rico, only 17 years old, I think. He's think he's 18 soon, or he's either 18 or very nearly 18. Either way, another young City fan. He confirmed after the game that he's been a City fan since he was five, six years old. Um, he looks so smart, and Guardiola said that he showed once again that we can trust Rico Lewis. Such an intelligent footballer. Of course, he's not the tallest, but I really love his tenacity and his understanding of when to step into midfield and when to drop back and his ability to show for the ball. And at one point when he's been closed down, instead of playing it back to Edison, Casually turned, stepped into midfield, away from the attacker. Lovely, lovely stuff. And he's going to get chances, man. He's going to get chances because Walker's out. Gomez will play often with Cancelo over at right back. And I think Rico will be the first in line to come on and give someone a rest. I love that. I love it because... They are boyhood blues, which is my final point there. That, to me, is absolutely everything. As a Manchester City fan, a lifelong Manchester City fan, like so many of you guys, if not all of you, is watching this video. To me, it means everything. Seeing people who play for this club, who love this club in the way that we do. Not because they've just played there for a while, but because it is the team that they support. I don't know quite how it's happened, but we've gone from having one guy in the team who was a City fan, really, Phil Foden, to four or five, is it? Erling Haaland, we know. Um, 
unexpectedly Sergio Gomez photos of him as a City shirt when he was a 10 year old I don't know how that happened it turns out that Rico Lewis is a City fan as well quite literally and Cole Palmer I think he might have been a United fan as a kid but he's now as a City fan he's been celebrating with City fans in the stands he went to uh, Porto as a fan to watch it uh, the Champions League final he's a lifelong City fan now as well that's five people in the squad of about 20 that's a quarter of the squad and you're telling me that this doesn't make a difference of course it does man when you've got people who literally kiss the badge and they mean it and they care about this club that definitely adds a little bit of edge it adds a little bit of passion a little bit of pride and I, I tell you what I fucking love it as a City fan it's what I want to see and these guys get it it makes a camaraderie and honesty a sincerity and a bit of a soul to everything that Manchester City do there's always been the soul there because of the connection and the fans and the players but this is soul because these players care in the way that we do and you can't deny that that makes a difference to me it's incredibly fun to watch for all the reasons that I've just mentioned the fact that they care it feels like we're witnessing the best times to be a Manchester City fan right now the football is phenomenal the players care about this club we've got a generational boyhood Manchester City fan and then maybe another in Foden potentially We've got incredible, refresh new signings. It's absolutely wonderful stuff, and we're scoring a ton of goals. I love it. Guys, they are five things that I took from this. I'm going to uh, stop this video now because <laughs> my nose is ready to trip. I've definitely got a bit of cold still. Uh, so I'm going to have to leave it there, and I need to get some food in. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. Thank you to all the patrons currently scrolling down the side of the screen. Superheroes, a lot of them. Don't forget to give this video a like. Let me know down in the comments what you made of the game, and check out my match reaction from yesterday. You're all superstars. Subscribe in a bit.